गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एल पी सवाणी रिवर साइड स्कूल डबोली सूरत स्टैंडर्ड टेन मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन प्रॉबेबिलिटी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट्स वी स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री अ गेम कंसिस्ट ऑफ टॉसिंग वन रूपी कॉइन थ्री टाइम्स एंड नॉटिंग इट्स आउटकम ईच टाइम हनीफ विन्स इफ ऑल द टॉसिस गिव द सेम रिजल्ट इज इक्वल थ्री हैंड्स और थ्री टेल्स एंड लॉस अदरवाइज ओके सो देर आर थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज टेल्स हेड और लॉस सो कैलकुलेट द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट हनीफ विल लॉस द गेम इन फर्स्ट द पॉसिबल आउटकम्स आर सो देर आर पॉसिबल आउटकम्स एच 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 टी 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 एच एच टी एच टी एच टी एच एच टी टी एच टी एच टी एंड एच टी टी ओके सो नंबर ऑफ टोटल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स आर एट एंड नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स आर टू बिकॉज देर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज टू ऑल द टेल्स और ऑल द हेड्स फ्रॉम दिस टोटल पॉसिबिलिटीज ओके सो इन दिस यू कैन सी देर देर आर थ्री एड थ्री टेल okay so there are only two possibilities of the favorable outcomes to get same result in the tossing so hanif will win the game so possibility of hanif will win the game is first of all total possible outcome is 2 because so the total favorable outcome is 2 because out of these eight outcomes we get two favorable outcomes ttt and hhh okay so three on the three coins there are same result only two times in these results okay so 2 upon 8 is equal to 1 upon 4 so p of hanif will lose the game means probability of hanif will lose the game is equal to 1 minus probability of hanif will win the game okay so the this is the two opposite probability first in first there are winning of the game and second there are loss of the game so for this kind of probability you can directly find from the formula p of e is equal to 1 minus p of e bar or p of e bar is equal to 1 minus p of e so i just minus 1 minus 1 upon 4 this probability and the out of that i can get 3 upon 4 okay in question number 2 a die is thrown twice what is the probability that so in die you know that in each and every die there are 1 to 6 number so 6 outcomes in one die and in another die also 6 outcomes so the total outcomes of the die is equal to 6 multiply by 6 is it is equal to 36 because we want to throw die twice okay so there are 36 results so in first answer 5 will not come up either either time okay hame kya karna hai 5 hame 5 hai wo ana nahi chahiye kitni times up to either times okay so Five come up on the either a time is equal to five comma one, five comma two, five comma four up to six comma five. In this, all the possible outcomes you can see that in one die there are number five is allowed. Okay, so this all the outcomes are possible. So total number of favorable cases is equal to eleven because these eleven cases have. Having five outcomes, okay, which is containing five on the die. So P of five will come up either time. So five will come either either time is equal to eleven out of thirty six because total number is thirty six. Total favorable outcomes are eleven. Okay, so eleven upon thirty six is our probability. In next, five will not come up either time. Okay, so five will not come either a time is equal to one minus eleven upon thirty six. So it is 
not five will not come okay so this is the probability of five will not come so one minus eleven upon thirty six it gives twenty five upon thirty six I take just LCM of these two terms so thirty six minus eleven it gives twenty five upon thirty six then next total number of cases when five can come at least one once okay so five at least once is equal to eleven so five will come at least once is equal to eleven upon thirty six okay this is the correct answer in next question number twenty five which of the following arguments are correct and which are not correct give reason for your answer okay so in first argument if two coins are tossed simultaneously there are three possible outcomes two heads two tails or one of each so therefore each outcome of the this this outcome the probability is 1 upon 3 okay so in previous example we learned that what is the probability of the toss toss result of heads and tails okay so from this you have to give answer the answer is incorrect but reason you have to do in your homework okay if a possible if a die throw there are two possible outcomes an odd number or an even number therefore the probability of getting an odd number is 1 upon 2 the answer is correct in homework you have to give reason for that okay so up to that uh, there are our exam exercise number 15.1 is completed okay let's we begin with exercise 15.2 question number 1 two customers sham and ekta are visiting a particular shop in the same week tuesday to saturday okay each is equally likely to visit the shop on any day as on one another day what is the probability that both will visit the shop on first is same day for the same day total number of outcome is 5 by 5 it gives 25 because there are five days in between the tuesday to saturday so there are two persons so total number of outcomes are 25 so first possibility is the same day in week there are two possibilities if both are come on the tuesday both are come on the wednesday both are on the thursday both are on the friday both are on the saturday so the both will reach on the same day having five possible outcomes okay so out of five this these outcomes 5 upon 20 there are 25 outcomes okay total number of outcomes are 25 and possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 and 5 so probability of both will reach on the same day is 5 upon 25 is equal to 1 upon 5 in next consecutive day so possible outcomes eight ways because in consecutive day you can see that there are eight ways so first of all we take example if one will come on the tuesday send next next person is at wednesday and then wednesday thursday thursday friday friday saturday wednesday tuesday thursday wednesday friday thursday saturday friday in this way they can they have to come on the different way so they have not come on the one particular day they will comes on the consecutive day therefore probability of both reach on the consecutive day is 8 because there are eight result 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8. so 8 is our possible outcomes and 25 is total number of outcomes so probability of getting this kind of result is 8 upon 25 means this is the 8 upon 25 is the probability of consecutive days on the week between the tuesday to saturday okay in your homework third one is your in your homework okay and please revise this chapter because this chapter is too much easy and it it can it can help you to conduct full marks out of 100 
in the SSC board examination so be serious for that okay so best of luck for today because this is a theoretical chapter okay thank you thank you so much